So the new Red Dead Online Naturalist update is here. We are going to jump in, and I hope you guys are so excited to explore everything in this DLC. Rockstar has said we're going to be getting a new role that's about to allow us to explore the secrets of naturalism. We're getting Outlaw Pass 3. We're getting a ton of community-requested features in this update, and we're going to be checking them all out here on the channel, as well as tons of game fixes. I'm going to be your guy for this DLC update, daily uploads, daily live streams. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to unlock this new role here in Red Dead Online. So we are about to jump in. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do go on to enjoy this video, hopefully I earned your like on it. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for daily Red Dead Online content, intel, leaks, updates, tips and tricks, all of that stuff. I have it covered for you guys here on the channel here. So without further ado, let's jump in to this new Red Dead Online update. If you guys check out the map, I have my location over here in Strawberry on the Nature of Beasts, Strawberry Welcome Center, the Naturalist Roll, meet Harriet Davenport at the Welcome Center in Strawberry to learn about becoming a naturalist. We are actually like right here in Strawberry, so let's just jump into it right now. We'll head right on over. The game looked crazy when we first updated it. The textures were like all over the place. That didn't happen with Moonshiners um, on PC, so that was kind of strange, but let's go check it out. And let's see what this naturalist role is all about. Get down here. This has got to Madam, stop. please. No. Uh, I'll be right with you. I know you're up there. Oh, marvelous. There she is. Just what I need. A crazy wood nymph. Can a man take a bath in peace? What the hell is that? It's a panther. It's a big panther. Savage. And a nice clean one now, too. This is going above the mayor's bed. Okay, uh, Mrs. Hobbs will be by to handle the taxidermy. Oh, travel safe, my friend. Wait, who are you? Where's Cecil? Glenn, I'm a friend of his. Cecil had to take a few days off. Mm-hmm. For stress. Is there any oh. animal that you have not slaughtered? Oh, you flatter me, Miss Sorry, Davenport. I really will be right the with you. The answer's no, but I'm retired, as you know, and have been for some time. Yes, and how many have you out there killing for you now? Not nearly enough, I'm afraid. Business is booming. What about you there? You a hunter? Gus McMillan, master craftsman of fine clothing and accessories. Here's my card. I pay top dollar for animal furs and parts. The rarer, the Don't better. Don't listen to him. Sounds pretty straightforward. <laughs> Have sleep at night. On the tiger bed spread, my dear. Seriously, come see You're me. no better than a murderer. I'm and guessing these are going to be mission-based still. Oh, wow, wow. Would you mind taking this outside? I don't worry. Shut Stubber. up, Glenn! Listen, soon as a squirrel finds a cure for tuberculosis, let's oh, talk. If intelligence is the barometer oh, of who geez. has the right to live or die, you should have been court-martialed at first! Annoying, isn't she? Yeah. See him? The only thing he had on his mind was hunger, sweetheart, but I pulled the trigger. Survival of the fittest, didn't that your mentor's trite catchphrase? It's not survival of the fittest. You are killing to line this your own pockets. This is how I make my living. We don't all have a rich daddy. While you're camped out in the woods, making witches brood and talking to the wildlife, the rest of us are doing some you real work. You think this is some big joke? Oh, oh, that, that's what? enough! No. <laughs> is that? Crazy <laughs> swim. Uh, uh, they uh, should uh, throw you in an asylum. <laughs> oh, that's it! I quit. You can tell the mayor I've gone home. <sighs> oh, <laughs> sorry about that awful man. Harriet Davenport, I've been in the field now for three years, studying the hidden interconnections between animals of all species. <laughs> I've seen everything. I've <laughs> had joy, disgust, regrets, envy. <sighs> We're so much more alike than we are different. I'm on the brink of discovering the pathway that link all life. I, I just need more research material. I have in here detailed notes on pretty much every animal from armadillo to anisberg, including the locations of some truly impressive varieties. I would be willing to sell this to you if you will commit to bringing me anatomical samples from live species and <sighs> promise not to carry out any more animal side <sighs> in pursuit of Gus McMillan's greed. I'll pay you. I'll pay you, of course. I promise I'm good for the money. Purchase the sample kit. So this is the role. It is 25 gold bars, just like the Moonshiner. No price increase on that regard. Perfect. Let's go. 
Down to 1715 now. We worked since January to get up to this amount. I mean, we had 330 gold then. It's all going away. I have access to remarkable new pathways of communication with other species. You have to live as Stop spraying me. What's wrong with you, lady? Oh, God. <laughs> Yo! Oh, no! We're tripping out. I like this, though. <laughs> oh boy well here we go now we are just like out here outside the legendary animal map sample kit animal field guide what is that all about hold on recent let's check it out let's check out naturalist rank up we're level one so let's check out the sample kit first everything a naturalist needs for identifying and sampling wildlife an animal field guide and legendary animal map are included animal field guide a book for documenting wildlife research an essential piece of the naturalist kit and then finally the legendary animal map a map displaying the locations of legendary animals so let's use this map and see what's going on we can zoom in so we can see all of them so right now it seems like we have a buck something like that we have a boar legendary beaver legendary wolf near coulter that looks to be like a legendary elk in cumberland forest wait is that a beaver what's the difference are those two beavers kamasa river and then lake owangila it's kind of hard to see because it's nighttime um and then we also have another boar on the east side of the map and then we have a legendary fox so no like assuming we're gonna get like a cougar and a bear and stuff like that the biggest predator here we have is a wolf uh, let's go to the satchel. What does that mean? So just accessing the satchel again? Oh, and then animal field guide. If we use this, we could see farmland habitats, desert habitats, wetland habitats, mountain and grassland habitats, forest and river, common critters, legendary animals, dark, light, red and blonde legendary animals, and pattern. And you can stamp a bunch of them, and there's categories traded. Sorry about that. So there are some ones we haven't gotten yet. There's four pattern ones that we haven't unlocked and that seems to be the case for all of these actually wow then there's another what is that three six in the red and blonde category so there are a bunch so there's different types of the same animal you have the pattern versions you have the red and blonde and then you have light notes gathered on rare animals left with pale coloring due to pigmentation anomaly they're mixing a whole bunch of science into this okay this is really cool we could see all the different types here. Undiscovered. So you need to discover these first. And then trade in the completed category to get $80, $60, $110, $140, $160, $150, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $
Don't run into the water though, that's gonna be sad. I killed legendary ZZ Beaver. Okay. So what's the vibe? We could pick him up or skin him. I wanna pick him up. Are we supposed to skin him? Oh, wait a second. Gus! Gus is a skilled trapper who can craft unique trinkets, clothing, and equipment, providing you with him the materials he needs. He also buys whole animal skins, furs, hides, and feathers. Dude, this is it right here. The trapper is here. And then we also have Harry we can go meet around here. So there are a few things. I totally missed these objectives because they didn't show up on the map. This is where we bring the beaver. We bring him to the trapper. You bring all the legendary animals to this trapper. So let's just go bring this beaver to the trapper, boys. So this guy is new. Watch your stuff. Oh, his wagon got destroyed. All his moonshine bottles. I'm gonna decline your offer, sir. We need to get to the trapper. So that's a new dynamic event right there, folks. That is new added to the game. Well, hello, Gus. I have arrived to give you my first legendary animal. He's the new trapper. So let's go sell. We could see what's going on. So we could sell the legendary beaver to him for $18. And we can actually sell these things to him as well, like animal fat and alligator teeth. Okay, so I don't want to sell the beaver. I want to see what's on offer so we could buy. Let's check out what we can buy at this guy right now. I'm going to have a ton of videos coming out on this stuff. This won't be the only thing. Garment sets. Oh my gosh, the moonshine or moonstone coat. Oh my god, a wolf and a bear coat and hat. Marble coat, moonstone coat. Look at these skins, guys. Look at these. Warm. So they're both warm weather, obviously. I'm going to be rocking the wolf one a little bit. Let's check out all the other types of clothing. We have the Cornhill hat in a bunch of different variations, and I know it's night, so it's hard to see. We have the Seaward hat. Perfect. The Dotson hat. And then the Flixton hat. Boom. Now, trinkets. The beaver tooth trinket, buck antler trinket, javelina tusk trinket, ram horn trinket, and snowy egret trinket. These are super, super expensive. Make sure you guys have the money for them. Uh, permanently slows weapon degradation down for weapons by 10%. So this is basically like having an extra wrap on your weapon, because wraps do the same thing, 10% slower weapon degradation. Uh, player has a higher chance of receiving better quality pelts and skins from animals in perfect condition. Boom, we need, we definitely need to use that. Permanently increases player's horse bonding rate by 10%, good when you're ranking up horses. Picking, creeping time, oregano, and wild meat yields two times more herbs. Oh my gosh. And permanently decreases the speed that uh, horse health and stamina cores drain by 10%. Dude, if you <laughs> if you combine the snowy egret trinket with a Nakadocha saddle and hooded stirrups, you will have 95% less horse stamina drain. You basically will have a horse that doesn't drain stamina ever. That is amazing. And so you need to get a legendary animal with those along with combining some of your collections to actually get it. Moving on to equipment, the horned varmint. Horned variant, sorry. A visual variant of the improved bow can be equipped to an own improved bow. 12 gold bars. And then ammunition, arrows, rifle cartridges. So, Nitro Express. Specifically designed for the elephant rifle. Contains four cartridges. I'm buying max. So we are going to go check out Harriet's mission over here next. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Guys, this is how you unlock the naturalist role here in Red Dead Online. You need to head on over to the golden, basically the magnifying glass. Mine was over here in Strawberry. It may be in a different location for you, but mine was at the Strawberry Welcome Center. And two things opened up. The trapper over here, just northwest of ONG Lake. And there's also a mission for Harriet, who is that girl in the cutscene. She runs a store for the naturalist where you can purchase a range of tonics and items to aid your studies and you can also sell animal samples here so it seems like that is what we're doing we're gonna sell a sample of this legendary beaver but if you guys did enjoy this video hopefully i earned your like on it and also if you guys are brand new to my channel hopefully you guys can subscribe to this channel as well we're gonna be coming out with daily red and online content here guys the new dlc update is here thank you guys so much for watching definitely check out all my social media links down in the description below and keep an eye out for another upload later on today again thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy the dlc i hope you guys enjoy playing and i will see you guys in the next red dead online video adios amigos